Many multivitamins and supplement preparations for chickens are usually made through processes that use chemicals which eliminate the organic aspects of these multivitamins and supplements. That is why in this video, I will discuss with you how to prepare the organic multivitamins and supplements at home, the amount to give to your chickens, and most importantly, how they are going to help your chickens in promoting good health and increase production. But before we get into all this, kindly, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that you will be notified every time that I post a new video. Also, if you learn something from this video, make sure to hit that like button. These organic chicken supplements can be largely classified into three different categories. And the first category uh, is the phytobiotics. And the phytobiotics are like the natural antibiotics. And they are prepared from organic herbs that are given to chickens to help treat and prevent chicken diseases. And the second category is the probiotics. And the probiotics, these are also called the good bacteria. They are live microorganisms that are made through the process of fermentation of complex carbohydrates and some products like the milk and they help to kill bad bacteria in the digestive system of the, of the chicken. They also help in boosting digestion and preventing diseases in the gut of the chicken, for example, the coccidiosis. And the third category is the prebiotics. And prebiotics are simply the food for the good bacteria in, that live in the digestive system of the chickens. And these probiotics, when given to chickens, they also help in to boost the growth of these good bacteria, which then help in suppressing the growth of the bad bacteria. And getting into our first organic supplement, it is the apple cider vinegar. And the apple cider vinegar can be classified as a phytobiotic because it's an organic supplement that is made from fermenting the apples. And due to this fermentation, it is usually acidic in nature and this helps to create favorable environments in the chicken digestive system in which help to support the growth of good bacteria. Number two, it also helps to kill bad bacteria, boost digestion and also kill the worms that could be present in the chicken's digestive system. Now, how are you going to prepare this apple cider vinegar? And number one, you are going to chop apples into small pieces. Then after chopping these apples, you are going to put them into a container or a glass jar and add water, but make sure that this water does not fill to the brim. Then you are going to leave this mixture to ferment and this fermentation process takes up to three to four weeks. After fermentation, you are going to sieve out the particles so that you can now be left with the liquid, which is the vinegar. We are going to add 2.5 ml into each liter of the chicken's drinking water. And when giving this apple cider vinegar to your chickens, make sure that you use the plastic drinkers because when you use the metallic ones, this apple cider vinegar can corrode them because of the acidic nature. 10 to 12 apples can give you around 4 liters of this apple cider vinegar. Let us now discuss about the second important organic supplement and that is the ginger and garlic serum. The ginger and garlic serum is um, an organic preparation that is very beneficial to chickens because it acts as a phytobiotic, meaning that it's very useful 
in prevention and treatment of bacterial diseases and also it helps to kill bad bacteria in the digestive system of the chicken. To prepare this ginger and garlic serum, you are going to need 1 kg of ginger and 1 kg of garlic and after you have this ginger and garlic, make sure that you prepare them properly and then you chop them into small pieces and blend them using 2 liters of water. You are going to put this mixture that you have this blended mixture into an airtight container and close this container for up to 5 days and this helps in the process of fermentation. After fermentation which will take about five days you are going to extract the juice and now this ginger and garlic juice that has been fermented is the one that we are going to use to give to your to our chickens you are going to add 2.5 ml into each liter of the chickens drinking water the third important organic treatment is the multivitamin and calcium supplement and this Multivitamin and calcium supplement acts as an electrolyte because it provides important ions in the to the bodies of the chicken. It's also a good source of vitamin because it is made using the fruits and also it is a source of calcium because eggshells are one of its components. Therefore, this multivitamin and calcium supplement helps to cover for deficiencies in vitamins and calcium deficiencies in the chicken feed to prepare this organic multivitamin and calcium supplement you are going to need carrots cucumber pow pow bananas an apple and also the eggshells and as you can see these fruits contain a wide variety of vitamins and minerals and also the eggshells we provide the calcium and here is the procedure that you are going to use to make this organic multivitamin and calcium supplement and for the dosage it's 2.5 ml into each liter of the chickens drinking water. The next organic supplement is the lactobacillus serum or the special fermented milk and this special fermented milk is a good probiotic meaning it contains good bacteria that when given to the chickens it helps to boost health, digestion and absorption of nutrients and to make this lactobacillus serum you are going to need rice, water and also milk here is an easy procedure to follow so that you can be able to, pre to prepare this lactobacillus serum or the special fermented milk and also the dosage is 2.5 ml into each liter of the chickens drinking water as you make this organic supplement to give to your chickens i also recommend that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the best supplements for the local or indigenous chickens